Welcome to Thrifty Garage. Today I am working on the garage again. As you can see behind me, I've been working on this pallet wood wall. Um, got that side done, and now I need to finish on this side. One thing I need to do here is work on this storage solution. I've always had a pretty narrow mindset with what goes along the side of the garage uh, because the garage door is so close to the edge of the wall. I've only got about a foot there. So this sticks out about two feet, so I've always wanted to make that a little bit smaller. So I think I'm gonna take this all down so I can access that back corner for the pallet wood wall and then look at a different solution for this uh, wood storage. Um, a lot of the storage that I have is old pallet wood, so you can see here I've stripped down this, this pallet, um, cut off each end, and then I had a middle section, two, two middle panels that needed to be pulled up. Nels, here's the two by fours that were part of that that I need to, um, to store as well. So a lot of the storage up here is just scrap um, pallet type wood stuff that I reuse on all my projects. And if you can't hear it, we've got a few mice in the garage making some noise. <laughs> well this corner looks dramatically different. I haven't seen it looking like this since we moved in. Nice to see blank walls. So I'll just give you a little bit of a picture of what this looked like when I moved in. Previous owner built this. Um, you know, it's not entirely secure. Uh, this is kind of pulled away from the wall. It's always kind of made me a little bit nervous. Um, I've definitely used it to the max and it hasn't failed yet. So enough room down here for four by eight sheets and then a couple of shelves. Um, not exactly the most efficient. It would be nice to be able to front load this, which I can't do, um, even on the four by eight sheets. Um, I'm gonna pull this paneling off and uh, take this down now. Well, this is by far the nicest wall in the garage. When I moved in, we've got a little bit of sheetrock in here that was in here previously, um, but all the rest of this was cardboard. Uh, I've since added the, the pallet wood wall in here. So I think this is the one section I'm not gonna have to take down. I don't know if there's insulation behind it, but I think it's gonna have to be okay without. I'm gonna look at a new rack solution there. And then I'll have more space here. I'll finish uh, putting the vertical pallet wood on that wall. So I will have to take a little bit of this uh, plywood veneer down. It actually didn't make as big of a mess as I thought it would. I thought I had more wood in here. It'll look nice once this thing's back together. 